David Brandt Berg was the central figure of the Children of God cult, also known as the Jesus Freaks, more recently known as the Family International. As the Children of God cult, Berg's group became notorious in Southern California for recruiting new members through sex. The group happily advertised themselves as the Happy Hookers for Jesus and stirred up controversy among Christians who disagreed with their recruiting strategy as well as the prostitutes who were losing business to the movement. According to Berg, William Branham prophesied over his ministry during the latter rain version of William Branham's stage persona, which led to the establishment of the Children of God cult. It should come as no surprise that the Children of God first began as an apocalyptic, anti-establishment gospel. David Berg was a Christian and Missionary Alliance minister and evangelist who toured with his mother, Virginia Brandt Berg, during the early years of his ministry. While she preached, Berg sang gospel songs and used pictures to teach the Bible, or more specifically, Doomsday by the Atomic Bomb. In the early 1950s, Berg pastored the Community Church in Valley Farms, Arizona, which was affiliated with the Christian Missionary Alliance. In 1951, after receiving a prophetic blessing on his ministry from William Branham, Berg became disenchanted with denominational Christianity and began to change his ministry. Empowered with Branham's Lateran blessing, Berg began preaching in Lateran churches. In November 1951, for example, Berg held a series of nightly lectures at Leroy Copp's Calvary Temple in Los Angeles, the church that helped promote William Branham's ministry with the film 20th Century Prophet. Throughout his life, Berg insisted that William Branham and the latter rain evangelist won thousands of souls to Christ. He insisted that Branham had a powerful word of knowledge and tied current events to Branham's alleged prophecies. When President Bill Clinton was elected, for example, Berg claimed that Hillary Clinton was the fulfillment of Branham's 1933 prophecies. David Berg studied William Branham's sermons and described segments from them to the Family International cult members in his nearly 3,000 Moses letters. In the way in which Branham is fondly described by Berg, it is clear that the letters were reminding his cult members of statements previously made about Branham. In some cases, he referenced his December 1979 letter entitled Millions of Miles of Miracles, which gave cult members an account of the life story used by William Branham's stage persona. Other times, Berg used Branham's personal childhood stories as examples for his own doctrine. He often reflected on those conversations, as well as Branham's tragic life. According to Berg, when Branham kissed him, it made a huge impact on his life. Berg claimed that, quote, the Lord sent him across my path. Berg was convinced that William Branham's halo photograph was real and that the photograph captured an angelic being rather than the lighting system of the Sam Houston Coliseum. Like Jim Jones of People's Temple, Berg was a convert to Branham's UFO theology and Berg taught his converts that UFOs were actually angels, as Branham claimed. Berg instructed converts to believe that that halo represents at least your guardian angel, and he often used Branham's alleged halo as an example for making his point. When he described angels, Berg used one of the varying descriptions of the physical form of an angel used by Branham's stage persona. Berg was especially fond of Branham's sermon, Future Home of the Heavenly Bridegroom, which was plagiarized from Clarence Larkin. He wanted his mansion in the city to be Branham's style. When Berg described heaven, he used Branham's descriptions of heaven for members of his cult, right down to the animals in heaven. From a doctrinal standpoint, Berg lifted several ideas from Branham when creating his cult. Like Branham, Berg was opposed to the word Trinity, saying, quote, you can't find that word in the Bible. Also like Branham, Berg taught that God had a Trinity and Satan copied it. Berg believed Branham's end of days prophecy concerning communist Russia 
and the impending race war that Branham had predicted. Both Berg and Branham spoke strongly against Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement because of the prophecy. Berg included Branham's 1933 prophecies of Rome and the World Council of Churches in his own End of Days doctrine. Berg continued Branham's themes of British Israelism and Christian identity, though he was far more plainly spoken against people with black skin than Branham's constrained public persona. While Branham used subtle anti-Semitism with doctrinal teachings such as the gospel was not for the Jews, as Branham claimed that God was a segregationalist, Berg openly stated that he was, quote, an anti-Semite because God is, and, quote, yes, I'm a racist because God is. At the same time, Berg eventually rejected some of Branham's core doctrine. Berg believed that the seven churches of Asia Minor, mentioned in the book of Revelation, were literal churches, while Branham taught the dispensationalist views of Cyrus Schofield, Clarence Larkin, and Charles Taze Russell. Because of this deviation, Berg also rejected the notion of a pre-tribulation rapture. He did, however, hold to Branham's prediction of atomic destruction. Just as message splinter group leader Jim Jones of People's Temple migrated to South America in the 1970s, the Children of God staged a mass exodus from the United States in the 70s. While this could be attributed to Branham's 1977 doomsday prophecy concerning the United States, Berg and the Children of God cult were also facing persecution by cult deprogrammers and New York's Charity Fraud Bureau.